Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about types of polygons. So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to accurately illustrate a polygon, accurately identify the types and classifications of polygons, and correctly solve problems involving the sides of a polygon. Now, what is a polygon? A polygon is a closed figure, a closed plane figure bounded by straight line segments called sides. Okay, sides. And it is classified according to the number of sides, okay, number of sides using Latin prefixes. Example, we have here in the table the number of sides of that plane figure and the corresponding name of the polygon. Now, if the plane figure has three sides, Okay, closed plane, ha? Closed plane. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng sides ay connected to each other. Walang opening, walang opening ang figure. So, three sides, we call that triangle. Familiar tayong lahat dito, di ba? Now, if the polygon has four sides, then it's, it's called a quadrilateral. If it has five sides, it's pentagon. From the word penta, meaning five. Quadrilateral, quadro. Or quadra, meaning uh, four. Okay? Kung six sides naman, we call that hexagon. If the polygon has seven sides, we call that heptagon. Heptagon. Remember, kung six, hex. Para silang may x. Sige. Kung seven naman, that's hep. Heptagon. Kung eight sides, that's octagon. Kung nine sides, nonagon. Kung 10 sides, decagon. Now, we also have what we call vertex. Okay? Vertex. It is a point where each pair of the sides of the polygon meet. So, the plural, pag marami, it's called vertices. Okay? Pag marami, vertices. Pero pag isa lang, it's vertex. So, dalawang sides ng polygon, naka-combine naka, uh, sila. And the point where they meet, that's called vertex. Ito yan. So, this is a pentagon that has five sides. Let's count the sides. One, two, three, four, five. Five sides. And the vertices, okay, ang vertex naman yan, five din. So, we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so, five vertices. Okay? Now, we have what we call triangle. Okay, triangle tayo. A triangle is a type of polygon that has exactly three sides and three angles. Again, three sides and three angles. These are examples of triangles. We have different kinds of triangles here. Let's learn them one by one. Okay, classifications of triangles according to the lengths of its sides lengths of the sides we have what we call scalene triangle okay scalene triangle it is a triangle that has no sides no sides of equal length ibig sabihin lahat ng sides ng scalene triangle iba-iba ang measurement okay iba-iba ang measurement pag may dalawang side ng triangle ay equal ibig sabihin hindi na yan scalene triangle that's a different classification of triangle Okay, again, scalene triangle, no sides of equal length. Another classification of triangle based on the length of its side is what we call the isosceles triangle. Again, isosceles triangle. Um, it has two sides of equal length. The long sides are equal. So, these two lines here meaning they are equal. The two sides are equal. The pair of the equal sides are called the legs. We call them legs. Itong dalawang ito, the legs of the triangle. And ito namang isa na hindi equal sa kanila, yung naiiba, we call this as the base. Okay, that's the base of the triangle. Another classification based on the side is what we call the equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle. Equal. So, it has all three sides of equal length. Lahat ng sides ng triangle na ito ay equal. It also um, corresponds or it, it also says that, it also means that the three angles are also equal. Okay? Again, that's equilateral triangle. Equal. 
Now, uh, the three triangles that we have discussed, the scalene, um, the equilateral, and the isosceles triangles, those are based on the length of the sides. Now, based on the kinds of angles naman, kinds of angles, we also have different classifications of triangles. First one, we have what we call the right triangle. So, it contains a right angle. Okay, isang right angle. So, this one right here is a right angle. So, this is an example of a right triangle. Now, an obtuse triangle. Obtuse triangle. So, it has an obtuse angle. Isang obtuse angle. Okay? We call this as an obtuse triangle. So, this is the angle, which is an obtuse angle. Um, take note that the side opposite to the obtuse angle is the longest side. So, if this is our angle, the obtuse angle, yung opposite side niya, yung kaharap niyang side, okay, the opposite one is the longest side of the triangle. So, this is the longest side of the triangle. Another classification of triangle based on the angle is what we call the acute triangle. Acute triangle. This is a triangle that has three acute angles. Okay, tatlong acute angles. So, Lahat ng angle niya ay acute angles. So, again, we call that an acute triangle. Quadrilateral. A quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides and four angles. Okay, so isang side first. One, two, three, four. Four sides and four angles. One, two, three, four. So, this is a quadrilateral. Parallelogram. A parallelogram is a special classification of quadrilateral. Quadrilateral din yan. But it has two pairs. It has two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel to each other. Okay? So, isang pair ito, silang dalawa. Silang dalawa ay parallel sa isa't isa. Another pair of parallel lines, ito silang dalawa, parallel sides. Okay, parallel din sila. So, we call this as a parallelogram. Parallelogram. Okay, rectangle. A rectangle is also a quadrilateral. It is also a parallelogram with four equal interior angles that are right angles. Okay? Again, rectangle yan, parallelogram. So, it has two pairs. Okay? Two pairs of um, parallel sides. So, itong side na ito and itong side, um, parallel sila sa isa't isa. Itong dalawa din ito, parallel din sila sa isa't isa. Okay. And what makes it different is yung interior angles niya, lahat ay right angle. So, right angle yan, right angle, right angle, right angle. So, this is a rectangle. Okay, rectangle. Another classification of a quadrilateral is what we call the rhombus. Okay? Four sides yan, kaya quadrilateral. Ngayon, it's a parallelogram. Kasi dalawang pairs ng opposite sides are parallel. And it has four equal sides. Okay? What makes it different is that it has all four sides equal. Okay? Lahat ng sides niya ay equal. So, that's rhombus. The opposite angles of rhombus are congruent. Okay. Yung opposite angles ng rhombus ay congruent. So, ang angle na yan equal sa angle dito. Ang angle na ito at angle na yan ay equal din. Okay. Again, opposite angles of rhombus are congruent. Now, a square. A square is also a quadrilateral kasi four sides yan. Okay, four sides. It's a parallelogram. Parallelogram since uh, two pairs of uh, the opposite sides are, uh, are parallel. So, parallelogram. And what makes it different is that um, it has four equal, in interior, four equal interior angles and four equal sides. So, para siyang combination ng rectangle at saka ng rhombus. Okay? It holds the properties of both a rectangle and a rhombus. Bakit? Kasi, yung square class, yung interior angles niya ay right angles. So, parang rectangle. Ano? Ito yung uh, characteristics ng rectangle na nasa kanya. Yung interior angles niya ay right angle lahat. 
And yung characteristic ng rhombus na nasa kanya is that all sides, all sides of a square are equal. Okay? So, parang pinagsamang rectangle at saka rhombus. Now, reg regular polygon. A regular polygon is a polygon that has equal sides with equal interior and exterior angles. So, this one right here is an example of a rec regular pentagon. Okay, regular pentagon. Pentagon kasi five sides. One, two, three, four, five. And then, regular siya. Regular pentagon kasi lahat ng sides niya ay equal. So, Equal silang lahat. Lahat ng sides ay equal. Ma'am, bakit nilagyan mo ng one line? Okay. It means that they have equal measurements. Okay? Kung five, five units yan, five din ito. Five, five, five. Alright? And equal angles. Okay? Equal angles. So, itong angle na ito, yung mga interior angles niya are all equal as well as the exterior angles. So, Yan, dalawang line niya. Ma'am, bakit dalawang linya nilagay? O, oh, kasi yung isang linya na sa sides na, so dalawang linya tayo for the angles, to mean that uh, all of the angles are equal. Okay? So, regular pentagon. Now, let's try this. Example number one. Identify the type of polygon below. Okay, ano kaya ito? So, ito sa quadrilateral, ano? Kasi it has four sides. Okay? This is a quadrilateral because it has four sides. And also, it's a parallelogram kasi it has two pairs. Two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel to each other. So, it is a quadrilateral quadrilateral and specifically, it's a parallelogram. Par, uh, para I'm sorry. <laughs> That's parallelogram. Parallelogram. Okay. Ayun. Example number two. Triangle XYZ is an isosceles triangle. Okay. Triangle XYZ is an isosceles triangle. With base XZ equals 20 units, yung base niya. And if the sum of the lengths of the sides of triangle XYZ is 48 units, find the length of each leg. Okay. Ano daw yung length ng Dalaw, uh, ng leg, dalawang legs ng triangle XYZ. Okay, take note that isosceles triangle meron siyang dalawang legs at isang base. Yung dalawang legs, they have equal measurements. Ano? And sinabi sa atin kung ano ang measurement ng, ng base. So, that's 20 units. Now, in this problem, hindi tayo binigyan ng figure. And to better understand this problem, we need to draw a figure. Okay? Tayo ng figure. So, this is the figure. Ayan. It's an isosceles triangle. Dalawang sides niya ay equal. Alright? Ang base niya ay 20 units kasi given yan sa problem. Isosceles triangle tayo. Then, we are asked to find the length of each leg. Ano ba to? Ano ito? And of course, they are equal. Okay? So, this line segment, line segment XY, this is the first leg. The second leg is line segment YZ. These are the legs of the isosceles triangle. Okay? And so, since sabi niya, the sum of the lengths of the sides of the triangle is 48 units. So, lahat daw, pag pinasa, pinagsama mo yun lahat, inad mo lahat ng lengths, that's 48 units. So, meaning, that's 48 minus 20. Malalaman natin kung ano ang ng total ng dalawang sides na ito. So, that would be 28. Okay? 28 units yung dalawa. Okay? And dahil equal silang dalawa, dahil yung legs ay of equal measurement kasi nga isosceles, so we have 28 divided by 2. And that is equal to 14 units. Okay? Therefore, the length of each leg of the triangle XYZ is equal to 14 units. 